This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist, with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, markets charged higher after suffering one of its worst declines in months on Monday on the news that a highly leveraged Chinese real estate company named Evergrande might default on its debt of some $300 billion. The news caused all kinds of havoc in the market on Monday, but by Friday, no one seemed to care. Unless, of course, if you are an investor in Evergrande bonds. Meanwhile, all eyes turned to Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell on Wednesday, who made comments that were both hawkish and dovish. He kept interest rates near zero and told us once again that the bond buying by the Fed will end at some point, but at a date apparently only known to him. The hawkish stance was welcomed by the stock market, viewing it as a confirmation of the economy's strength and continued progress as it recovers from the COVID-induced recession. Now, stocks weren't the only asset class to rise on the week. Bond yields also rose, with the 10-year Treasury yield crossing 1.4% for the first time in months. Perhaps the bond market noticed the same thing I noticed, and something I've been warning you about for months. Jerome Powell did not use the word transitory this week when referring to inflation. It suggests to me that the whole idea of transitory inflation is temporary and may be around a lot longer than they once believed. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, is my portfolio hedged for a non-transitory inflation? Well, why sit there and wonder when you could know? My son, Ryan, and I have 75 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. All you have to do to take advantage of our expertise is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844- 752-6692, or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.